Most people know what stamps are, but what makes IOD stamps different is that they are scaled and designed for decor and furniture. As the founders and owners of IOD, our background is in European surface techniques. And as such, we have a unique perspective on how to design stamps that are going to be versatile as well as give the most impact to your projects. We have so many different designs for IOD stamps. We have typography, florals, textures. Today, we're gonna to be using our rose toile. I'm gonna to go ahead and open this up and condition the stamp. That's how we prep it for use. You only have to do this one time before you use it for the first time. The reason it's important to condition your stamps the first time that you use it is because you're putting a micro texture or a fine tooth, if you will, and that's going to help your medium stay stable so they don't beat up. And the reason that's important is because it's going to give you the cleanest and most detailed impression. We're going to be using a fine grit sanding block and we're going to work in one direction and then the other. There are a lot of different mediums that you can use with our stamps. The two most commonly used are our AOD decor ink and chalk type paint. We're gonna kick it off with our IOD decor ink. Our IOD decor ink is a hybrid pigment rich ink specifically formulated for decor surfaces. To get started, you're gonna wanna shake it really well so that the carrier and the pigment mix together. And you'll do that every time you use it. Mm -hmm. I like to just use the tip as I'm pouring into our IOD decor stamp pad to get the ink nicely embedded in the surface of that. I've got my ink pad completely covered, and now I'm going to go ahead and show you how we stamp with it on the backing, and then I'll show you how we mount it on a different surface for stamping that way. Okay, so I'm all inked up and I'm going to go on to my surface. I'm gonna hover just to kind of see where exactly I want this. Here we go. Once you lay down, lay down carefully. Once you're committed, do not shift. Use your hand to gently run over the surface. Notice how she's always stabilizing with one hand while she runs her other hand over it so that it doesn't shift. That's right. The point here isn't to squish it so hard that it distorts the image, but just to make firm, even contact. That's right. Now lift straight up. And you can see that beautiful finished design. Now I'm going to show you another method where we take the stamp off the backing and we use our thin mount. And this is really helpful if you're using the stamps individually and you don't want to use them together. You can use simple baby wipes to clean your stamps. When you're all completely done with them, you can clean them with warm water and soap. What we love about our thin mounts is the fact that they're nice and sturdy, but they're flexible, which means it gives you a better contact with your surface, even if it's not perfectly flat. You do need to make sure that both your thin mount and the mounting side mm. of your stamp piece are perfectly clean, or they will not clean properly. Yep. That is right. Now, when you're pulling your stamps off the backing, it will give resistance. That is normal. Don't worry about it. You'll have to use a little bit of muscle to get them off. The larger the surface of the stamp, the more muscle you're going to have to use to get them off. Okay, so here's my thin mount and I'm just gonna place it on here. We love our thin mounts, they're gridded. They also have these curves so that you can use them nicely with our typography stamps. Okay, so I've got it on the mount and now I'm gonna get my ink again, ink it up.
And then I'm gonna place this strategically. Let's see, we're gonna go like this. Lay it down. Josie's right, you don't wanna press so hard that you warp the design. Just a little gentle smooth running across. Firm but even. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then lift up. Look at that beautiful detailed design. So you can see how our decor ink actually gives a really beautiful fine detail. Next, we're gonna show you how mineral-based or chalk type paint gives you kind of a block print look like vintage wallpaper. When we're using a chalk type paint, we're going to actually use a brayer and something for a palette that's flat. In this example, we're just going to use one of our thin mounts, easy peasy. Gonna apply a little bit of the paint and then we're going to get an even coat on here. Keep in mind that chalk type paint dries out a little more quickly than the ink, and so you want to be sort of speedy. <laughs> so you can see this is the way a brayer works. It allows you to get it loaded, and then you see you've got a nice even coat on there. The biggest mistake people make when using chalk type or mineral type paint to stamp with is they're using either too much or too little. And that will come easily with just practice. It's yeah. all about the reps. That's right. We recommend just getting out a sample board and playing around. All right, from here, it's essentially the same as when you're using ink as far as not Lay shifting, it keeping it nice and even. Mm -hmm. Again, you don't want to shift, so you're going to stabilize with one hand and then make that good even contact with the other hand. Then you're going to lift straight up. Let's go ahead and repeat that to finish it out. Now you've seen the basics of using our stamps and you've seen the two different mediums. So if you look closely, you can see the difference between the two, the block print style looking like kind of like vintage wallpaper, as well as just the fine detail of our decor ink. For more techniques and projects using our IOD stamps, check out our YouTube channel and our IOD stamp playlist.